everyone and welcome back to my channel first i would really just like to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel i was looking at it the other day and i just realized that i hit a thousand subscribers i have only been posting videos i don't know maybe about a year and so i was really happy and thank you so much for keep coming and watching my videos and project shares and happy mail unboxings and yeah i just want to say thank you and uh today i have a project share slash vr for patty and mommy and me crafts she is doing her secular second annual giveaway challenge and I will link uh, her down below the video where you can go and see all the rules that you have to follow. But basically she's asking for three yards of lace or ribbon or trim, the ones that you like most from your stash. Uh, on a, And you should send that in an embellished ribbon card sample. And also bead or charms that should include at least three elements. But I will link her post on Instagram down below and her YouTube video where she explains the challenge. So you can go and check it for yourself. Uh, she said you should just send it in an envelope because she wants to keep the cards down. But I had an idea and I really wanted to make it. And this is not very heavy anyway, so it won't cost and as much to, to ship and so what I did was I did a little like closet this is actually really easy to make the closet in itself is just a box but instead of closing uh, instead of the opening being like on top or maybe a sliding box I just made the opening here as if it has doors but the part that I'm most excited about is <laughs> wait a moment this is a little different setup so you open it in here. I just used two brads. I didn't have two of the same color, but I think it was super cute with the two different colors. And then you open it up. I'm trying not to do make a lot of shade because I'm just right next to the window. Let's just tilt it a little. And then I put the ribbon cards. I made them with um, because she wants the ribbon cards to be sturdy because she wants them to last as she stores them I did it on acetate. This is a really sturdy acetate and then Let me see if I can do this showing you. I did a little pull out Like you have on your closet. I was inspired by Ikea Ikea actually because my mother has a closet and her her rack for the hangers comes out and I just did this to come out so she can take the samples easily and I put the big chain the dangles in here I hope this is okay I I cannot make charms for the life of me so I hope this is okay Patty <laughs> that I sent it like this and then I put some of my favorite lace in here I really love this color it's so beautiful but I'm not going to take them out because this is a little bit troublesome to put back in again. So yeah, I just did a little pull in and pull out and I think it looks just so, so cute. I really like to do things like this that are a little bit interactive. It's a lot of fun to figure out how to make them and it looks so super cute. And yeah, so this is my little project share and VR for Betty. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to do a tutorial on how to do the little pull tabby thing. I think about the box, that's really no need for a tutorial and I'm sure there are loads of it. It's just a normal box. You just cut the, the sides here. So it's actually really easy to make. But let me know down in the comments below what you think. If you would like a tutorial on the pull-out tab. And yeah, hope Patty likes it. Again, thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. Let me know also on the comments below if you would like me to do maybe a giveaway. Challenge giveaway. I'm not really sure. My challenge giveaway never really worked that well. So uh, I don't know. Let me just know down below what you think and i hope everyone has a wonderful day bye